Hello, my name is Joshua One Parkin, and welcome to my lectures. Hey, welcome to the lectures. All right, oh, all right. Oh. Hey, welcome to the lectures. Oh. This is gonna be really interesting because I'm basically gonna talk about anything. You know, I'm gonna talk about anything because I'll be seriously. Why not? So I'll be combining. But don't worry, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna combine with entertainment and education at the same time. So there's two things I have to think about, which eventually will get my head exploded. I call this series lectures because I basically want to talk about anything, but I will basically be talking about it in detail. Don't worry about it. I do many, many research before I do some lectures. Enough of this introduction. So okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go. If you didn't know, I'm a classical musician, which is why I have to listen to classical music. So one time I was just chilling, listening to some Rachmaninoff, and drinking coffee, which then I realized that the milk was expired. As you can see, I needed to clean myself up, which is why I had to put down my headphones and left to wash myself up. So while I was gone, there was this kid who went up to my headphones and basically this kid listened to my this kid was listening to what I was listening to. I mean, you wore my headphones without my permission. I mean, who does that? But anyways, that's not my point. The point is, when I came back, he asked me one of the most offensive questions that really pissed me off. He's like, why do you listen to this old boring trash? It's so old, and you, it's so old, you should not listen to this. But ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how offended I was when he said that question. However, I had the perfect answer to that question. So this was my answer. To people who find classical music boring is because they are stupid. That's not my personal opinion, that's actually the fact. Stupid is a person who has a poor judgment or a low intelligence. Now I want to pick up the word poor judgment here. Poor judgment is when people usually and commonly criticize things in their own opinion with no objective point of view. That's not criticism. That's poor judgment. Poor judgment is what I want to pick out because that relates to my answer. I understand some people find classical music boring and I understand that because I've been there too. I used to hate classical music. But I listen to classical music all the time, not only because I'm a classical musician, it's because now I see the beauty of classical music. The real answer to that question is not mostly stupid. The real answer to that question is people are just too immature to understand what it is. Now I love classical music because now I see that there's so much things you can learn from one piece of music. There's so much things you can look at. Hannah here has her own answer to the same question. So, why don't we take a look? There's always personal preference. Mm, and some people will never like it. However, I think the main reason is that a lot of beauty of classical music is not readily apparent. This basically means that people have their own personal taste and she's saying that the creativity and beauty of classical music is nearly hidden and the listeners have to figure it out. But why does this answer sound like classical music were created to be boring in the first place? To me this answer sounds like that the composers created this music boring in the first place, which is why it's the composer's fault. Okay, let's just say classical music were created to be boring. Do you 
wrote the Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Where the shadow get a funk and tossed her out of Elysium, Peter Brite fired trunk and him le shadow die le tomb, died as a bar in the heavy day, bust him or the string and tight. All the mention of every day, for thyself a frig of night. This piece was composed for two years and is one of the most important compositions of all time. And some people find that piece really boring. Music in general is part of art. Don't believe me? Then what is art? Paintings? Drawings? No, 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 no. That's visual art. Art is a big word because there's so many things that is part of art. Drawings, paintings, sculptures, architecture, acting, theater, movies, even sports like figure skating. And music is part of art. Paintings and drawings are called visual art because you can visually see the art. But for music, which I personally call this the sound art, because basically you can create art with sound. Now let me first look at the word classical. This word actually came from the word classic. Hmm, that's interesting because people use the word classic and classical differently. Now, the only difference is that one has an A, L, and the other one doesn't. What I'm trying to say is that what classic is either an adjective or a noun, and classical is mainly an adjective. So tell me, how do you usually use the word classic? Dude, that video was absolute classic. Absolute classic. What does that mean? It means that there was a video that was really good, or you really enjoyed it back in the old generation, and it is still entertaining. Classic, having a high quality or standard against which other things are judged. It's a high quality. High quality. Classic is something that considered to be high quality. Doesn't that basically answer this question? If you don't understand, I'll give you an example. What is the best film of all time? When you Google it, it shows either two films, either The Godfather or Citizen Kane. Those are the two films that are really old, one from 1941 and one from 1972. There's known to be a classic, but not only a classic, masterpiece. Now I'm talking about movies right now because, as I told you before, movies are part of art. It has both visuals and music. But let me just say I showed these two films to a five-year-old, no, my like ten-year-old. Would they find that entertaining? More than 90% of these kids will fall asleep. Why? Because it's a terrible film? The answer is simple. It's because they don't understand. They need someone to actually help them on how to watch this film. That's why many kids these days prefer watching B films other than the A films. It's so sad, really. The reason why they watch films that are not A-listed is because they don't want to take it seriously. I'm not going to show this full video, but um, I'm just going to mention to you what happens in this video. But when I watched this video, there was something that I was really surprised about. It's, he said in this video that people during that time called classical music serious music. Today, people will call it boring music. Boring, serious, completely different thing. So I asked myself, why did they call it serious? In other words, really advanced, meaning really difficult to understand. Classical music can be adultery or extremely mature or have a very dark storyline or it could have some sort of a mature content in this classical music that many young audiences will never understand. As what Hannah said before, it means that people need to research. So the answer is pretty clear. Classical music is boring because it's too advanced. Classical music is known to be a masterpiece and difficult to understand. For the reason, and it's not only because it's just serious, for the reason of being too advanced is the reason why people should research. People should research before they listen to classical music. Let me remind you the original answer. To people who find classical music boring is because they are stupid. But there is a reason why I specifically use the word stupid. I'm not blaming it. everybody who finds classical music is boring. Some people have a very convincing reason why they find classical music is boring. Convincing reason. I maybe just emphasize that word. Convincing reason. I haven't heard that reason yet. But to the people who are just prejudiced, they just hate it for no reason. And no, boring is not a reason and it's not an excuse. I'm okay if you don't like it, but the problem is they disrespect it. They disrespect classical music or classical musicians and they're calling us stupid. So it's my turn.
to anyone who sees someone or hears someone say classical music is boring, you have my permission to smack them in the ass. Do you agree with my lecture? If you disagree or if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, leave the comment down below. And I'll see you next lecture. My name is Joshua Wan Parkim and please take care. Bye!